Joe Supersano, thank you very much for tuning in. Look who I'm here with. Me, Mr. Supersano. <laughs> Almost missed your cue. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to be opening these Harry Potter magic capsules. These are from Cap Toys. So please do check them out. There's a link in the description where you can buy these for yourself. These are $9.99. And these are Harry Potter mystery figures. So, wait for it. I've got Mrs. Supertrol here with me. And she's a massive Harry Potter fan and will help me pronounce all the weird and wonderful things of the world of Harry Potter. I'm okay with Harry Potter. I, it, is one of, it is one of the franchises I enjoy. I'm just not as up on it as Mrs. Supertrol. Wait for it. <laughs> so there are ten different characters to collect. They are in sort of a almost Japanese style, which I really like. And you can tell this is by Yumi Toys as well. Their logo is on the back of these. And these are in collaboration with Warner Brothers and the Wizarding World. So she's dying to open them. So before you do, though, open them, Lynn, I need to show you a few things about these toys. So if I take the plastic wrap off first... You'll see that it has the crest of Harry, the Harry Potter crest on there with all the different house sigils around the outside. And we're going to need some water. Do you know why we need water? No. You're going to want to get a nice big cup of water when you do this. As you slosh it all over the table. As I slosh it all over the table. <laughs> because to help you do this, you'll notice that you don't open the back yet. Don't open the back yet. Let me show you. So we have number one and number two. So these are clues as to who your character is. So rather than just opening so up... So are they all the same then? All your little... They're all like in the same order? Like same place? Yes. Yeah. So here at the top is number one. You flick this one up and you'll see there's a little crest inside. So if we open that up, this tells us which house the character's in. And if you look on the back, you'll see a little thumb mark. Can I open this one? In a second. So there's a little thumb mark there, and if I apparently hold my finger over it, I believe it's heat activated. Ooh. Or do I have to scratch it? I'm not quite sure. It's you not didn't read the instructions. It's not doing anything. It was a thumb mark. It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not doing anything. <laughs> Do you not need to dunk it in hot water or something? No, that's the second one. Oh. Light? <gasps> light! Right, it's light on this one. <laughs> so hold that up. It's now turning orange. So what's orange, Lynn? It's yellow, which is Hufflepuff. Oh, so it's Hufflepuff, right. So it's, it's, got, it's got like yellow, can you see? No. <laughs> there, look. <laughs> I need to hold it back up the light. It's not very bright. It's not very bright in this room. We, I think you might need to get your big orange light. Uh, it's because you've said orange. Uh, your big um, cube thing and light it up in there. You know that makes everything glow. One second, I've got an idea. Ah, heavy gosh. duty LED torch. <laughs> Just hold that against there for a second. Can you see it's got like a slight orangey tinge. Can you see it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Well, obviously not doing it on yeah, there's a slight orange tinge to it anyway. You can you can see it on the camera a little bit better. So obviously that's Hufflepuff, yeah? Yeah, but it's yellow, yeah. So that yeah, it's like it's like yellowy orange. So that's Hufflepuff. Yeah, if it was red that would be Gryffindor, so it could be either of them if it's not showing up. We'll try that again so. on the second one and see if we can get a better result. <laughs> it says requires heat, water, light or darkness to reveal, so it could be multiple. So this one's definitely, it requires water. So if we open the second capsule... Oh, there we go. As you break it. I can never do them. I have no nails. So this one requires water, as you can see. A little water Ooh. droplet. And it's going to reveal the spell that this character is famous for. So if we dunk it in water... And how long do you have to put it in for? I'm going to find out. Alright, just that scheme. So this character is famous for using the Lumos <laughs> spell. Can you see that, guys? Lumos. That's quite cool. It's a cool idea, isn't it? I, I quite like that. Like it's quite good, isn't it? So there are our clues. So I'm going to pop the spell back inside the little chest. And now we can open the back. New, 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 new,
I have no nails. <laughs> and we've still got some more things to open. So this is the little checklist that gives you all the characters of who you can get. And there is a mystery flying character, which I'm sure we can all guess from that silhouette. I believe it's going to be Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I but, kind of thought it might be when you said that it's famous for Lumos. Well, we can get the regular Harry. Then there's Ron, Hermione, yeah. Ginny, Luna, Draco, Cho, Snape and Cedric. I kind of want Cedric and Draco, they look cool. <laughs> Luna looks awesome too. And then the mystery one is a golden mystery one. I believe that's definitely Harry Flying, oh, that's isn't Harry, it? Without a doubt. It's definitely Harry Flying, <laughs> isn't it? So these are the checklists for series one. And like I said, these are $9.99 each. And we're still going because we've still got some more things well, to open. Wait. Quite, no, what I'm saying is <laughs> quite big for that price. Sometimes you get some mystery figures and the box themselves are tiny. Yes. Well, in each of the back of these, before we even get to the character, we have multiple different packages to open. Do you have a visitor? Yes. <laughs> a little We have multiple packages to open before we even get to the character. Ooh. Oh, and it's paper. Ah, cutting down on plastic. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if we open up package one... <laughs> oh, so... A dragon egg. Egg. Is egg. that where we put it in the water <laughs> in the fountain and it opened up? Yes. That's pretty cool. And then Mountain Myrtle pays a visit. Yeah. That scene weirds me out. <laughs> Hello, Harry. No. <laughs> Talking girl ghost, go away. <laughs> and then we have number two, which is a pet or a familiar. Badger. It's a badger. Who has a badger? Cedric, I think. You got a baby badger. Oh, that's why they've got the. Oh, that's why he's got the. Go oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. That would make sense. It was. It was in the tournament. Yes. Yeah. Which might explain why you egg things you love. Hmm. Daily Prophet. Copy of the Daily Prophet. And it says on it, "He who must not be named returns." And then we've got another one which is empty. Oh no, it's a wand. This one's the wand. These are so in depth. So there's a tiny little wand inside that one. I apologise about the little rug right in the background. <laughs> has broken him. And now it's time to reveal the character. He comes inside a little Harry Potter trunk. Hogwarts I like the on the pieces of paper. I keep calling it, Har I keep calling it Harry's Hogwarts, isn't it? It's the Hogwarts symbol, not Harry Potter. <laughs> Same thing. So it's the Hogwarts chest. Oh, that's meant to be the thingy box with the things over it. Um, isn't that what they put the quaffle and all that in, that fancy box? They have to seal it shut. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's rip it open. And we have... have Cedric Diggory! <laughs> so that thing was supposed to be yellow. Yes. So we got Cedric Diggory as our first figure. Yeah! Played by Robert Patterson in the movie. Which way is that meant to go around like that? So you do know your stuff. Kind of. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which way he's meant to hold the wand. I think it's like that. These are very cool, but some of the, the accessories are very small. Don't worry, I'll give you guys an up close personal look at all the figures once we've opened all of these. So that is, and the best part is, you know what, you can, you can keep these little chests and you can store them in them. So that's pretty cool. Right, should we open chest number two? I'm guessing you're dead as well. So you, do, you want that, do you want to open that one while I open this one? Sir, Otherwise, we'll be here all day. How do you know whether they need heat or light? I'm guessing it's a guessing game. Well, this one's a heat one because I just put my finger all over it and it's too. Yeah. So, what have you got? I think that's either green or blue. I'm a bit colour blind. That's right? blue. <laughs> so, that's Ravenclaw. This is my side. Page, darling. Lift it there, look. See the little catch? And I'm on my yep. next one. If I put my thumb over that. Yes. Mine's yellow. My, ne my next one's yellow, I think. Yeah, yellow. 
It's really cool how it changes colour of the thing that you can see. It's very so, cool. That needs to go in water, look, so. Borrow Super Sorrel's water. Mm -hmm. You've dunked it for a fair few seconds. I know it's already changing. Though I can't be honest. <laughs> I'm this side. No. Just two minutes, sweetie. Are we doing it upside down? Do you want me to have a look? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got me glasses on me though, which shouldn't help. Um. <laughs> what does that say? Are we all do upside down? No. <laughs> that's what I would think, is it upside down? I don't know what that means. It doesn't say diadem, does it? What? Is it diadem? Yes. What's that? Ah! That's the little crown from one of the houses that the founder of the Ravenclaw um, houses and it's one of the Horcruxes. D-I-E-N, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, so diadem. Diadem. Yeah, it's like a tiara. So who uses that spell? It's not a spell, it's an item. Oh. That's what I'm saying, it's the um, Horcrux. No idea how to pronounce that. Oh, I know who yours is. And what colour was it? Blue? Yeah, it's Ravenclaw. you got Cho. She puts on the emblem and goes into the sky in the film. That's she wears the Horcrux. That's, that's a necklace. Yeah, but still. The Horcrux wear... was a tiara. Oh, <laughs> I still think that's Cho. No. That's something to do with it. I'm swear it is. So mine says Sectum... Sectum Mespera? Sectum Mespera? Oh, Harry Potter. I don't know who says that. I'm really sorry. Yeah, that's Harry. Even Mr. Sorrel don't know this one. What sex is that? I like that. I, I like the idea of these. The thing though. is, though, if someone says it, it'll go, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think those is chill. Can I open the So I'm going to open up my second one. Hang on, brother. So I've got another checklist. Okay, we're on to the next set of clues. Hang on, we need to do it one at a time. On to the next set of clues for this character, all these little accessories. Ooh, we've got a snake this time. Hazelis! Snake! Hazelis! He doesn't have a snake as a pet though, does he? No, but he gets attacked by a snake. He gets attacked by one, yeah, that's a bit different. <laughs> so with mine I've got a little teacup. Which... Mm. Which I'm assuming is when they did divination. Yes. Um, uh, they had those sort of like black tea leaves. And then I've also got a scroll. Oh, I think mine is Snape. See, tells you. Because I've also got a little potion. Half the prince. And he's a potions master, isn't he? Can I have another? Hey, I'm I'll give you up spells to bewitch the minds and snare the senses. Scroll. Ooh, scroll. And I've also got, yeah, I think I've got Snape because I've got the the advanced potion making book. Half the prince. Half prince. So let's get him out. Um, oh, one more. Mop. These ones are. Oh, I got arrows. The ones are really tiny, aren't they? The ones are super tiny. I, I almost lost I that and. Arrow. I know, so <gasps> Don't do sure. that. <laughs> really tiny. Don't bend it. I didn't bend it. That's how it is. That's how it is. <laughs> I got an owl. You got an owl? Yeah. What? I got a little one too. What sound do owls make? <laughs> <laughs> Cutest noise ever. <laughs> okay, figure time. We've got him. I'm so happy. It's Mr. Okay. Snape. Mr. Harry Potter. Cho <laughs> Chang. Mm -hmm. I told you it was Chang. I will teach your potions to bewitch the mind and snare the senses. <laughs> That's cool. So, you uh, let's have a look at Cho. Have you got Cho out yet? Yeah. Yeah, so so here is Cho. Again, we'll show you all the figures at the end of the video. There's but she came with the tea. See. She came with the teacup, with a saucer, her wand. It came with a scroll, and also came with her little owl. Wait, I got, I got... That one. 
soup and shoe. <laughs> and are you excited to see who's in it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Is that Lanta? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're on the last two. Okay, so, so I've got a red one. At least I think that's red. I swear I've not called white. <laughs> The desk is covered in... <laughs> in packaging. In packaging. Right, you need to dip that carefully in the cold water. Yes, it's red, yours. So you're probably going to get either Harry, Ron oh, or Hermione. Hermione. I hope they make more of these, because I would, I would happily collect these, you know. I would love to get more of these. I really Cause... like the technology of it all. Yeah, like the whole, like, the, you got to find all the little clues and, that, and then find and out who the character is. It says, Reducto. Right, so I've got a red one too this time, so mine's definitely going to be a, 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 a thingy character as well. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. And what do your spells say? Reductor. What's that? That's the making things smaller. So ah. I've got an idea who I think that is. I think it's wrong. Ooh. Come on then. Is it that one? Yes. I think I've got the exact same character. We've got two, we've got two the same. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, that's some kind of animal. But it, it's not scabbers. Oh, it's not scabbers. It might be scabbers. Oh, unless it's Luna. Oh, it could be Luna. Oh, careful. I'll get that one. Do you know whoever it is is stuck? And then have a look at these little ones yet. It looks like a really like odd creature. It'll be something that Luna would have. <laughs> yeah, it does. And they'd have a real, they'd have a really meant, they'd have a really mental like, name as well. Like we call them snowberries. <laughs> oh, wow. We got a book. Okay. I think I've got the exact same one you've got there. And love potion. Can I open that one? Oh, I think it's not Luna. <laughs> Is it not Luna? It's... Oh, it's Ginny! Ah, oh, the diary! <laughs> it was a Tom, Tom Riddle's diary. You can't stand yeah. it. So, I've got the same one. <laughs> so you know what that means? You know what that means? Mm -hmm. Lynn, if I've got the exact same one, what does that mean? We have two. Giveaway time! <laughs> <laughs> So if you're in the UK and you want to be in for a chance of winning one of these exclusive little Harry Potter figures, these are brand new to the market, guys. Brand spanking new. I'm including everything that we've just taken out, so I've just put everything back. I'm going to go in this water. No. Keep quiet for a minute, baby Bob. I'm even, I'm even bobbing the uh, clues back in for you. Oh, it's a shame that for some of these figures don't always stand up very well on the rail. I think they should have had like a little bit of a little space. stand. Yeah. That would have been nice. So guys, if you want to be in for a chance of winning this one, obviously we have a spare Ginny Potter. Uh, not Ginny Potter, well she is Ginny Potter, but it's Ginny <laughs> Weasley in the film, isn't it? Uh, we have a spare Ginny going uh, begging, guys, so we've already got one, so these were provided to us free of charge for review purposes. So if anybody wants one of these, please let us know in the comments down below. You've got to be in the UK to be in for a chance of winning, and I'll send it out to you as soon as possible. So please make sure you are in it to win it by being a subscriber or a follower of the channel, that would really help us out. And uh, yeah, you can win one of these yourself. I'll choose a winner on Monday morning. Awesome, but what do you think of the figures? I like them. They're good, aren't they? I'd like to try and um, see if we can get the rest of them um, to try and like make a full set. I think that would be quite cool. Yeah, where's the rest of the uh, stuff for Ginny? Where's Ginny's stuff? She's put them in there. I should put them in there. <laughs> I'll need to borrow those in a minute, but you just have to do the video. <laughs> this is all Ginny has been playing. So what I'll do now guys is I'll go on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at these awesome figures. So let's go to the desk cam! So here we are guys, these are out of the packaging. So let's take a quick close look at the figures that we did get. So we've got Cedric Diggory there, which is really cool. I really like a little look at these characters. They're definitely inspired by that sort of Japanese anime sort of style, which I really like. 
I like the clues and things that, that were included with these. Um, so you give you like a, um, it was like a surprise with every turn, which I really liked. Obviously with the choosing, like seeing the house, then the spells, and then getting out all the li little individual, you know, packagings. That's a really cool idea. And the, the accessories aren't to scale really. They're a bit out of scale with the figure, but they're still very cool to have nonetheless. And the figures are really nicely detailed for a, um, a small collectible like this, you know, as a, as a mystery mini almost. It's a perfect, perfect size. And uh, the scale of them, the paintwork and everything is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that Professor Snape. Who would not want that on their shelf, eh? That is such a cool figure. Coming with all these little details. So cool. But what are your thoughts on these figures, guys? Let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on them and whether this is something you'd pick up for yourself. And don't forget to enter that giveaway. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Harry Potter video. If you want to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments down below. Big thank you once again for sending these through to us for review purposes. And if you want to check out Cap Toys and see these for yourself, you can buy them from their website right now. There is a link in the description. Please go ahead and check that out. And don't forget, the winner will be announced for the giveaway on Monday evening. So make sure you are in it to win it. Guys, as always, thank you very much. I'm your host, Super and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye.